Good day and welcome to another episode of Let's Play the Neverhood Chronicles. I'm Caboose Force Mini with you here as always. And we are down here uh, at the bottom of the, uh, the big hole, I guess you could call it. You know, it's big and it's a hole and that's what happens when there's water there. I guess. Uh, but yes, this is the drain where the, all the way to water came out. And this is the only way you can get an end game. Literally, it's the only way you can lose this game. So I'll show you what happens if you do jump. I'll just go in here and I'll do a little bit of a save so you can load right away. And it says, Danger! Don't jump! You will die! So let's, let's do it. Let's challenge the universe. And... Let's see, was it, was it payoff? No, nope. we're, we're falling to our death by floating in space. Horrible, yes. The end. That's the only way you can get an end game. The only way. There's not another way that I know of, at least, that you can die from. So, you know, that's a cool little bit of information. And that's the OP. I thank you for watching. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's just load that back up. And let's continue on our merry way. Now, as you saw before, there was that little, uh, that little radio dish kind of thing. Uh, and that's gonna be kind of important, uh, in just a little bit. But before we do that, we have to, um, we have to ride this claw cart over here. And this takes a little bit of time, but this is, this is a green claw cart. And there's some green sludge on the wall to match it. I wonder if that's how it originally looked. And, now, there's, there's multiple things that you're gonna have to do in here, but... I find it better to just take the left path because the left path is pretty simple and the right gets a little complicated and it branches off a lot. So uh, let's just do this one first. Now I really love this song. This is a great song. I'm pretty sure it's called uh, Southern Front Porch Whistler or something similar to that. Uh, but it's definitely cool. So I'll let you have a quick listen. Uh, well, that ended. Alright, you're definitely going to want to make sure you take a note of this. This is this is the radio. Uh, now, when we go into the uh, radio station, we'll be, or the satellite fish area. That'll come in handy. You we'll want to make sure you remember what that sounds like, or what the sound is. It'll always be different again, just like every, almost everything else in this game. It's almost always random. Uh, I think there's only like one or two things that are, you know, always the same. Like out of these whole, you know, kind of puzzle things. They always tend to be different. But nonetheless, if you were playing on this exact copy, or that's the song you heard when you were playing this game, you definitely want to take note of that. And we're going to slowly claw cart our way across uh, the big hole. You know, I guess that's what I'm going to refer to it from now on. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to talk this because I know a lot of people are, especially if you're watching a Neverhood LP, you're probably not that much into this kind of stuff. Uh, but the Halo Reach baby came out a few days ago. Alright, well, before I continue with that, these are beakers. You want to write them down, and you want to take note of each color and the amount. Because, uh, again, those come in handy. So just, you know, make a beaker with the word blue under it, with green, red, or use colored pencils, whatever you want to do. And then just, you know draw those and then draw make sure you draw the amount of liquid liquid that's uh in each one uh and i would definitely take note uh at least that that's what i do i find it a lot easier to do it that way is to definitely make sure you uh take note of the uh the, like the white bars uh now i'm not gonna go any further on that side because it just leads to a dead end uh you don't really need to see that uh but we're going to continue our journey that was really the only thing that's like necessary right now. This is I'm just gonna show you two more things that aren't very necessary. I don't I don't think these are mandatory to beat the game. I don't think you're gonna need them for anything, but I may be wrong. Uh, we're going going to something kind of funny here. If you uh, well, you wouldn't really know what this is about. But uh, here's a little plaque. Let's go read what it says. The Cannon Monument. This cannon was here by Hoborgs, and his name is crossed out, and uh, someone named Clog wrote their name over Hoborg's name. Pretty asshole move, if you ask me. <laughs> Don't sound like very nice people to, you know, take credit for the cannon. I don't know why you need a monument for a cannon. You know, it seems like a very peaceful place to live in the neighborhood. But, you know, that again is one of the many questions. 
questions that will not be answered. It's quite a mystery. So, yeah, as I was saying before uh, I caught up to those beakers, uh, yeah, the Halo Reach beta came out a few days ago. It's really fun, uh, but Bungie was definitely not expecting the amount of people uh, that did play to be there. Uh, you know, there was over over 100,000 people on the first day, and all the servers were just, like, screwed up, and it was just overloaded. And even Bungie's website, its server was overloaded. You couldn't get onto their website. I'm sure a lot of those people were, you know, complaining, but... Yeah. What you gonna do? So, we got, uh, all the way up to this tower, and, uh... See, there's Dad, and a W, and some clothes. Maybe this is, uh, that Willie Trombone's room. He's got a penthouse suite up there. Must be, uh, pretty annoying to, you know, get in and out just climbing up this call claw card every day. You know, how many times are you gonna waste a cannon? Just to, you know, drain the water, or climb the claw card. Seems like it would not be very much worth it. You might as well just want to move. But I think that's all... I'm pretty sure that is all we do with these claw cards. I don't think there's anything else to do. Excuse me as I crack my back. I'm feeling a little stiff. So I'm going to do a lot of recordings right now. I'm actually going to be recording up to episode, like, 6 in this one day. And then I'm going to record a lot from a few months, too. Because I kind of just want to, you know, get a, a good amount of recordings out of the way. Because, you know, I really, I mean, obviously I enjoy LPing or I wouldn't be doing it. But, you know, I mean, I prefer to do, like, kind of, I guess, recording sessions more than, you know, day by day. Because then I just feel like I've got, like, such a deadline and I feel kind of rushed. And, you know, with this I can just, you know, take my time and enjoy myself playing or watching myself play, you know, as I'm doing here because I have to post-record. Uh, but you know, and uh, that's another thing, because especially with a game like Kingdom Hearts 2, because I really, really like that game. That's probably one of my favorite games, I'd say. Uh, you know, don't hate me if it's not one of your favorite games, or if you really don't like it, or any of that. But you know, I really like it, and you know, I don't find it fun to just play like 10 minutes at one time. I really want to, you know, play at least like, you know, an hour at most. And. I'm gonna click on here, and I was kind of baffled, because this is, this is honestly, I think this is probably the hardest puzzle in the game, uh, because I can never remember this, because it's just, I, I don't know, I'm kind of upset with the fact that they did this, but the radio is off, so you cannot go anywhere until you find out how to turn on the radio, and this is a, this is a pretty, you know, I, you really, you really have to search for this, especially if this is your first time, this is like my third or fourth time beating this, and... I still have yet to remember this, uh, but yeah, you're gonna have to run up here, and I will be cutting the video in a spot, because I spend a few minutes wandering, and no one wants to see that, really. Uh, th this is probably, this, this is probably one or two more times, I, I think I, I think I cut another video before, uh, but besides that, th I don't want to cut much else out, unless, you know, I spend as much time as I did now wandering. As you can see, a few minutes of wandering, and we return back to the other side of the hair cave and over the bridge. And now, what you want to do is, I did lie actually. I said that this was uh, back in like the first episode that this was the last time we were going to go into the nursery, but I was wrong uh, because I did a bit of wandering, and all of a sudden it just snapped back in my head uh, where the uh, thing was. And uh, actually, all you want to do is pull on the cord that makes a cowbell sound. And for some reason, that, oh, uh, turns on the power for the radio. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but I, I still think it was kind of unfair of the creators to do that. I mean, I, th I'm, I could, I want to, I'm not very good at puzzle games very much. I'm kind of, especially point and click, point and clicks like this. Uh, I had this one weird game where it was like some space thing. I, I like space adventure point and clicks, I don't know why, but... Those and pirates, because I love. I mean, I've only played one, but you know, I love those. Uh, oh, what are they called? Like Monkey Island. I forget what it's called, but all I can remember is Guybrush. Guybrush Threepwood. Threepwood. I like that name. But yeah, 
don't know, I'm just not very good at these games, but I mean, I myself think that, you know, even for someone that's pretty good at these kind of games, that that's kind of, you know, unfair to do. I guess, see, no, you know why I think it's more unfair? Is that if you were to just pull all those cords to see which one would open up the door, you would stop once the door opened, you wouldn't go to that last string. And I mean, it's always that last string, and the string that opens is always the second to last string, so... You know, I think that's kind of unfair, but this is the end of the episode. I'm gonna bring down the bridge. I'm Caboose478 with you here, as always, with the Coop Ninja Bros, and adios. Thanks for watching.